ever feel like you hit a wall trying to make those healthy choices? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've all been there. It's a struggle. It really is. But today we're diving into something that might be a real game changer, at least when it comes to weight loss. Oh, this is interesting. It is. It's Kagerlin Tide, and we're going deep into the research on it. What's got everyone buzzing is that this isn't just another diet fad, is it? Not at all. What's really exciting about Kagerlintide is that it's a whole new way of thinking about weight loss. It works with your body, not against it. Oh, okay. So before we get lost in the science, can you set the stage for us? We are talking about a pretty big problem, right? Obesity is a global issue. Absolutely. And it's a bigger problem than people realize. It affects individuals, sure, but also entire societies and economies. So more than just fitting into those old genes then? Way more. Healthcare costs, lost productivity, the emotional toll is huge. Lifestyle changes are essential, we know that. But let's be real, they're hard to keep up. They are. And then there are the medications, many not that effective. And surgery, well, that's not for everyone, so that's where this Kagerlin Tide comes in. Could be a whole new option for those who need help with weight management. Okay, so let's break it down. Yeah. Kagerlintide, it's a long-acting amylin analog. Now, I'm no scientist, so... Think of it like this. You've heard of insulin, right? Helps your body regulate blood sugar. Uh-huh. Amylin's another hormone, works alongside insulin. It's made in the pancreas. Right. And one of its main jobs is telling your brain, hey, you're full, stop eating. Kagerlintide basically steps in and does the same thing, helping you resist those cravings and feeling more satisfied. So it's like hitting the brakes on your appetite. Exactly. But what's really cool, and this is where it gets even more interesting, is that Kagerlin Tide works on two different levels. Two. Tell me more. So it hits both the homeostatic pathways, the ones in your brain that deal with your basic need for food, right. and the hedonic pathways. Those are linked to the pleasure, the reward you get from eating. So on one hand, your brain's getting the message, you're good, no need for that extra slice of cake. But then there's this other part, it's taking the edge off those cravings too, right? Exactly. Imagine your appetite as a car, Kagerlin tight. It's like easing up on the gas while gently tapping the brakes at the same time. Okay, I like that. That makes it much clearer. So about those clinical trials, the results have been pretty impressive, haven't they? They have. In one of the trials, Kagerlin tight actually did better than liraglutide. And that's another weight loss medication, right? Yeah, it is. So it's going head to head with the competition and winning. Right. And get this, some people in the trials, those who made lifestyle changes along with taking Kagerlin Tide, they lost almost 11% of their body weight. 11%? Wow. Okay, but it's not like, it's not magic, right? You still need to put in some work. You got it. These trials are still in early stages. We need more data, long-term data, to really see the full picture. Right, right. So it's more like Kagerlin Tide is a tool, not a replacement for a healthy lifestyle. Exactly. And speaking of tools, researchers are getting pretty excited about combining therapies. Oh, like what? So they're looking at using Kagerlin Tide with another medication, semaglutide. It works in a totally different way in the body. So it's like instead of one set of breaks on your appetite, you get two. Exactly. Hit that appetite from multiple angles, you know? And early results, really promising. We're talking significant weight loss with the Kagerlin Tide and Semaglutide combo, even without those big lifestyle changes. Hold on. So even without, like, overhauling their diets or exercise routines, mm. people were seeing results. That's what's so exciting. Think about it. This could be huge for people who struggle with making those initial changes, see some progress, get motivated, and then maybe those healthy habits start to stick. It's like nothing succeeds like success, right? right? But we have to talk side effects. Any medication can have them. What have the trials shown? Right, of course. For most people, the side effects were pretty mild. Nausea, constipation, things like that. And the good news is, for many people, they went away as they adjusted to the medication. Oh, okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. So what's next for Kagerlintide? Where do we go from here? Well, the FDA hasn't approved it for weight loss just yet. But there are several trials going on. One in particular, it's called the Redefine trial. That one's really interesting. Redefine. What makes it stand out? So the Redefine trial, they're looking at Kegrelintide and semaglutide together, but specifically for weight loss in people who also have type 2 diabetes. Okay, so tackling two major health issues at once. Yeah, makes sense, right? I mean, obesity and type 2 diabetes, they often go together. And Redefine it's going to look at the long-term effects, the safety of using these two medications together. 
So it's not just about the number on the scale. Then. No, no, it's bigger than that. We're talking waist circumference, blood sugar control, how's their blood pressure doing, even their quality of life, you know? Wow. So they're really trying to get the whole picture, how this combination impacts their lives overall. Exactly. It's like, could this be a new way to approach these health challenges? That's what they're trying to figure out. I have to say, this is pretty exciting stuff. It sounds like we're entering a whole new world when it comes to weight management. I think so. Kagra Tide, it's definitely shaking things up. We've been waiting for something new, something that actually works with the body. And the potential here, it's huge. You know, you mentioned earlier how big of a problem obesity is for everyone, really. Mm -hmm. If Kagra Tide really does what it seems to do, this could change things in a really big way, couldn't it? Absolutely. We could see fewer cases of type 2 diabetes, other obesity-related diseases, health care costs could go down. People could just live healthier, happier lives. Just imagine. It's amazing to think about. It's not every day we get to talk about something that has the potential to change so many lives. It really is incredible, and it's been great exploring all of this with you. I bet our listeners are finding this just as fascinating as we are. To everyone listening, we're really just getting started here. The research on Kagralintide is going strong, so stay tuned. We'll definitely keep you updated as things develop. But don't wait for us. Stay curious. Ask questions. This is a conversation we all need to be a part of.